previously on The Diary. Rocco starts shooting at Mr. Morgan and Bobby. Bobby and Mr. Morgan are in the hospital. Bobby breaking up with his girlfriend because of me and the flirty apples from Mr. Morgan give him his target. The scar on Rocco's arm gives him his motive. The news reporters are blaming it all on me all over again. So, last night, I went to the hospital to check up on them. Not only are they both in serious danger, their chances for survival were less than 30%. Each of them had their respective girlfriends waiting in the waiting room, but I didn't even dare get near them. I was afraid of how they would react. Bobby turned out to be A negative. Mr. Morgan is B negative. We were talking about blood types, and I discovered my blood type is blood type O negative. It's the universal donor type of blood, and it's the only other option, and it's why I'm here. I want to help. The following takes place on September 26th, 2014. Part 2 Dear Diary, There I was, standing in the middle of the waiting room, in front of the families and girlfriends of the victim. Within the same minute, my soul presence had caused such conflicting emotions, varying from sudden rage, to unexpected hope, to immediate disappointment. And finally, instantaneous greed, and unpredictable generosity. Rage. As soon as I revealed I was there, people recognized who I was at different paces. Some would know me from school, others just from my picture in the news. Like I said, I was portrayed as the platonic love of a school shooter, which is practically a synonym of the devil. That makes me a really bad person. To some of them, this is all my fault as they wouldn't be in this situation if it weren't for my interest in them and the devil's interest in me. Hope. Upon revealing my blood type, a shimmering ray of hope emerged from the depths, clearing up the foggy, sad reality that most likely both of them would die. The odds that the doctor announced were really bad. However, being the only universal donor around raised those odds considerably. Suddenly, I was no longer part of the problem but a part of the solution. Disappointment. The doctor quickly did the math in his head and explained that while big help, the amount of blood I could give would not be enough to save both of them. Because of me, one of them would most likely live, the other would have to fight it out on his own. Greed. I could see it in their eyes, that look of desire, a basic, raw, selfish want. The decision was up to me. But who would I choose? Can I even make this decision in front of them? What should I consider when weighing in the options? Age? Attractiveness? Influence? Fitness? Responsibilities? Abilities? Which one deserves it more? Which one needs it more? Should I level out their chances or just go for the safest bet? Or just pick whoever I'm most into? How do you value someone's life over another? Before I could even speak, the arguing began. It started with the mothers politely suggesting it should be their own sons, but that quickly got escalated into a chaotic fight for survival. Generosity. While everybody else was battling for their contestant, a single person walked away from the brawl, quietly, unnoticed. She approached me with a wonderful glare in her eyes, a true, sincere, authentic, unquestionable humility and generosity. She pulled me to the side to get my full attention and said, if you save him, I'll get out of your way. You could have him. I was so shocked by that amazing display of love. I was speechless. I was sold. 